This is the view from the top of the Campanile. From way up here, you can see all of UC Berkeley and the Bay Area. It's maybe the most beautiful spot on campus. But in my four years as an undergraduate, I've only been up to the top of the Campanile a handful of times. I've spent way more of my time here, in main stacks. The undergraduate library, the dungeon, the three floors buried underground, where you can stay until 2 a.m. and have a chance to maybe study, do your homework, more likely go on Facebook and check your Snapchat, occasionally and accidentally take a quick nap on one of the desks. Usually when I come into main stacks, I go through all those corners, and as I get deeper into the library, I realize that my long day is going to turn into an even longer night. I wonder how it got this way. I think about what I had earlier that day. My classes, my club meetings, my research, my homework, my papers, my projects, my thesis. And I get a little overwhelmed, especially when I realize that there's not even a spot to study half the time. All these other people are already here doing their work. And I wonder, how are they so far ahead? Shouldn't I get credit for just showing up to the library at least? But this is kind of what UC Berkeley is like. There's so many possibilities here. Literally, you can do any combination of majors and minors and projects and clubs that you want. In a way, it's pretty amazing, but it can also get pretty challenging because you have to do something. You have to figure out your way. You don't get credit for just showing up. And it's easy to get lost, to get buried underneath all of it. You start to wonder, yeah, Berkeley is this amazing place with so many opportunities, but am I taking advantage of them? You can achieve so much here, but do I really have that capability to achieve? I could be anything I wanted, but can I make it a reality? And then it's easy to get bogged down by little things, like deadlines, homework, emails, small social things that happen in your life, wondering when do I sleep, when do I eat, why have I been in the library so long that it's nighttime? Sometimes you're so tired that you just look for an escape, you're looking for a way out looking for a way to just give up. But Berkeley's also taught me that at those times, sometimes you just need to say, fuck this. Because yes, Berkeley can be challenging and rigorous and difficult. It'll probably be four of the hardest years in my life. But Berkeley has also taught me that it's important to give yourself space to make mistakes, to try out new things, to realize that you're still figuring things out and that you aren't perfect. Yes, you can spend all your time in the library, but in the end, I've learned that you have to find your way out of main stacks eventually. You won't be able to survive otherwise. You have to realize that other things need to drive you. You need to find what you're passionate about. Now, I'm not saying that I have everything figured out and I'm not stressed because I definitely do not have everything figured out and I definitely still get stressed a lot of the time. But I've realized that you have to face things by looking at it from the bigger picture. That's what Berkeley's taught me. That the world isn't easy, but you still have to find a way to survive by keeping your head up, by keeping your humor, and keeping your heart. You have to realize that, in the end, there's still light shining somewhere. The Campanile is still there, and there will come a day soon when you can look out from the top.